All right, so welcome in everybody. I'm making another SDK video for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This video is, the goal on this is to create an airport and to do it as quickly as possible. So there's a number of videos out there already on creating the airport or creating scenery within the airport. But I found that this really is the fastest method for doing that for myself anyway. So I just want to share that it creates all the file structure pretty much automatically and there's not a lot that you have to think about. So I'm going to go ahead and create an airport here. Um, I've kind of already pre-selected where I wanted to actually have the airport and um, it's uh, Mike Yankee Alpha X-ray. It's a Spanish K, it's in the Bahamas. These are easy locations to um, to manipulate. So what we're gonna do is just change the time here so we can actually see what's going on. And zoom in, zoom in, and go ahead and just pick a spot right here. I'm just gonna let me just change the time, let's see. Okay. So what we're going to do is create a brand new airport and there's a few different options in the SDK to do that. And we're going to go over, like I said, the simplest way that I found here. So we'll put that on pause and we'll close that. And what we're going to do is Go to dev mode here, pick a new project. It's going to bring up create a new project. In this case, it's Spanish K, and that's what I'm going to call it Spanish K. Create a new project. That'll, I have a file folder already set up in my documents called my FS projects. You can call it whatever you want, and then put all your all of your projects in that particular folder just to keep them organized but I went ahead to that now it's gonna bring up the wizard section so you can do a custom you can do this but the airport is the simplest way to do it so I'm gonna create an airport and I'm gonna call it Spanish K next airport creation override an existing airport that's what I want to do in this case so select the airport to override my Yankee Alpha x-ray that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna choose it from there select that create the airport boom so now it's created the entire airport structure for me in the file folder and then my my FS project so we'll go over here to my files and take a look in the file folder right here Spanish K you see it's created all of the file structure for me there's my XML file for my project my source files the only file that we need to create in here is a scene file so that's what we're gonna do is create scene that's done go back over to the SDK and then we're going to go into the inspector. Uh, we need to put a thumbnail image here, so we're going to do that. Uh, let me go to documents and my FS projects, and there, and that one. Uh, again, this can be any. This can be any thumbnail as long as it's 1412 by 170 you, you can put whatever you want in there uh, this is just placeholder but you can put whatever you want in that all right and then we're gonna go to the scenery here and then we just need to adjust these here so this is gonna be your folder for Spanish K and scene and select folder 
This one is just scenery. Enter. Load an editor. That's done. Now, I'm going to save that because it'll ask me eventually if I want to. So we're going to do that. Okay, so I've got everything set here. So really, we're in the BGL now as far as this airport goes, but we still need to add an actual airport to take the place of this existing airport. So we've created the framework for it, but we need to create an actual airport. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. We're going to go to objects, scenery, and then go to airport. And I am going to zoom out a little bit here. Check this box and let me zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so now you can see the ring for the airport and we can adjust that ring here momentarily, but we're going to go ahead and just click that and then turn that off. So we're not creating multiple airports. So this is going to show you an error message. Now you have to right click to bring up the properties menu and then in this goes your your uh, airport identifier. So the M Y A X goes in here. Oops, got to hit enter actually. M Y A X enter and then region Bahamas. I don't think you really have to put this stuff in here. The airport name, Spanish K. And uh, I am not sure what the uh, magnetic variation is, so I'm not gonna worry about that for the moment. So if you wanna make that ring smaller, you can just type in a thousand here, and then boom, that ring is much smaller. and then go to save. So now that brings up another dialog box. So you don't want to, you want to save it in your, in your, in your projects. You do want to save it in your projects folder. So you want to get to your projects folder, go into your Spanish K and then, um, you want to save that in the uh, scene. So that's Spanish K, safe, done. Okay, there's our fuel box there. So what I'm gonna do is put this on pause, go ahead and hit ready to fly and go into the drone. So we can just go ahead and see that these fuel boxes are indeed there and they are indeed there. It's really weird how the simulator sometimes it creates like just partial and then it creates multiple fuel boxes. Uh, I guess it's based on the parking spots, which they're all actually right there available. So um, what we're going to do is remove this. So not only can we remove it, we can actually move it. So right now we're going to remove it and then we will remove it. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's go into developer cam. Let's go here, open recent, open the BGL, open the inspector, load an editor. There's our airport. What we want to do is go to properties. Properties brings up a tab for us. We can put a star on the airport. We can make it closed. So, but right now we're just gonna delete commands. And so what we're gonna do is delete all taxiways. And that's gonna get rid of the fuel boxes in that particular spot. So we're gonna save that. And close the material editor and while I'm at it 
Well, we'll do this one at a time. So we're going to keep things simple. I'll do the the building next with the exclusion and the shapes rectangular. So for right now, we're going to delete all taxiways. And uh, that looks good. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yep, we'll delete all taxiways. So we got rid of those. So let me go up here. Let me build the package. First, we're going to open the inspector or the console rather, and then build a package. Zero errors. And now we should have a package over here and packages with a scenery file. We do. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Let's go back and close this. Close that, close that, close that, close that one, and close that one. And then we're going to be closing the developer cam right there. So we're going to grab that, we're going to copy that, and then we're going to go over to the community folder and put that in to the folder. So we're going to paste it right in there. So what I'm going to do is close that, come back to the simulator, put this on pause, and then restart the simulator. Um, and then that will be gone. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So let's go back into the airport. Um, Y-A-X, uh, Spanish K, tickets right there. Let's go fly there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make it so we can see. Looks good. There we go, the runway. There we go. And so the same thing, let's go into the showcase, drone mode, drone speed. And let's uh, go ahead and jump over here. And then boom, that is gone. We no longer have any of the parking spots that are available and the fuel is no longer there. All right, so that takes care of that. So the next step, we're gonna get rid of this building and we're gonna put the fuel, uh, we'll move the fuel over here somewhere. It looks like we maybe put it like maybe right here or maybe over here, for example, I see like a little road, but maybe we'll just put it like right here or something. So we'll expand this thing out, this um, apron, and just maybe put like the fuel thing here. We'll make, this is gonna turn into a hangar. I really don't know what kind of building this is, but this is what we're gonna do. So we'll go ahead and put that in the next video and um, we'll uh, take a look at everything from there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be glad to take a look at them and then, you know, comment it.